Oh my God, my hands are getting really cold holding the phone. So I think it'll be harder and harder to film myself as the months get colder. You can see there's some snow on the ground now. My sinus is hurting while breathing in this cold air because I still have a cold. So I think I'm gonna cut my walk short. Yeah, this is pretty painful. Mochi didn't want to go sampo today because it's too cold. She didn't want to go for a walk, which was weird. Today was the first time and it's about minus three, kind of cold. She went into the garden and then didn't want to go, doesn't even want to go to the garden anymore. <laughs> I guess she's too cold. If you're curious what mochi eats, some boiled chicken and water with kibbles. There you go, mochi. There she goes again. I gave her dinner and everything. Mochi. Why do you keep begging? So I have a blog, but I haven't been using it. I haven't been posting for a very long time. But my accountability partner, Niels, was posting on his blog regularly, and that kind of inspired me to get started again. Now, there is one thing that I wanted to change, and that was the layout of the blog. I wanted it to be exactly like Seth's blog, which is Seth Godin's blog. His blog posts are just laid out for you to read from the latest to the oldest in just a scrolling fashion. So you don't even have to click on any individual article. You just start reading as soon as you arrive at his blog. I thought that was such a simple and genius format. So I wanted something like that as well, except I didn't know how to format my vlog like that. So I reached out to a developer that I found on Google, Willow Ghost, and I asked if she could make it in this format. And she was so nice. She just gave me the zip file and said, hey, I edited this theme. It was just a simple change of an existing ghost.org theme. She just modified it a bit. So I downloaded that and then I uploaded it onto my website and the blog now looks like this, which is exactly what I wanted it to be. So thank you so much, Willow Ghost. The surprising thing is she didn't even charge me for it. She said, if this is all that you want to change, then there's no charge, just here, why don't you just have it? So that was really nice of her. As for what I would write on each blog post, and I did post one today, I decided that I'm going to just write notes from my stream of consciousness writing. So today I did my 23rd stream of consciousness writing. I don't post everything that I write here, but I just take the bullet points and then I uploaded that to my blog today. So that was one thing done today, which I really appreciated. At the same time, I wasn't very efficient with my time today. And I think it comes back down to using a calendar, scheduling your day, the day that you want to have. I keep coming back to this again and again. I've tried it in the past with some success and also a lot of failures. And I think I have to give it another shot. As Cal Newport said, the best-selling author of like the four hour work week and deep work and digital minimalism, he said the simple act of using a calendar and sticking to it, or at least trying to stick to it and modifying it and trusting it every single day is the single biggest thing that you can do to increase productivity in your day-to-day -day life. And I think that's correct. So even if I keep failing, I should keep trying again and again to use a calendar on a daily basis. 1% better every day, baby.